All right, Angelica, let's see if we can't work through that problem real quick. So you're working on independent project 3-5 for Microsoft Word. This is your instruction, and it looks like you're having difficulties with steps 5 and 6, moving your placeholders and your footnotes and applying text formatting. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the instruction file, or the uh, beginning file. That we have the student success tips, and let's just go ahead and jump straight to step 5 and step 6. So uh, I'm just going to quickly jump in, change the reviewing. So I'm going to go through and do steps 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, then we'll jump in, and I'll show you steps 5 and 6. Okay, so you should have a document that looks like this. We have heading 1 applied to the main headers. We have heading, or, I'm sorry, title applied to the main title. We have header 1 applied to the, the big ones, and then header 2 applied for all the underlying titles. So we're now on to step five, inserting footnotes and applying a text formatting. So we're going to go to this very first page, and we're going to insert a fo footnote after the weekly schedules in the schedule your time section. So we have a weekly schedules, our success tips, we have a schedule your time, and we're going to put in a footnote underneath here. So with the first footnote, we're going to go to the weekly schedules section. So let's find the weekly schedules, and this is inside the schedule your time. So schedule your time and weekly schedules. And we're going to put a footnote in right here. So let's go up here and do an insert and insert footnote. And I apologize, that is on your references tab, insert footnote. So let's go here. And this first footnote, we're going to type in the weekly schedule. Just make sure I've corrected my spelling real quick. And then we're going to put in a footnote at the end of be sure to schedule a time for all these in your 119 hours. And this is in your schedule of time section. Uh, so be sure to schedule for all your in the 119 hours. And we're going to put in a footnote, make sure it's after the period. So again, references tab, insert footnote. And this footnote is going to be, be sure to schedule recreational time in your 119 hours, period. All right, so that was step five. You can see here we have two footnotes, and that was just by choosing the location, hitting your references tab, inserting your footnotes. Now, the next step in step six is to move a footnote and modify the footnote format number. So you can see down here we have them sort of lined up with this uh, the left adjust line and they're numbered one and two and it's pretty small subscript. So we're going to select the first footnote reference marker in the body. So let's come up here and that was uh, I think track your time. There it's weekly schedules. So we have this right here at the weekly schedules and we're going to highlight it and move it so it appears after weekly schedule in the track your time section. So right now, we have it in your schedule your time. I'm going to take this weekly schedule, and I'm just going to simply click on it with my left mouse click, and I'm going to drag it up to track your time, and I'm going to put it right underneath, uh, what does it say? The weekly schedule. There we go. Right there. So to accomplish this, all I did was click, highlight, hold my left mouse click, drag it to the weekly schedule, and put it in the correct location. All right, so for our next step, on step six, you could, you could either use the drag or drop, drop or you could use control C, control V, and cut and paste there. All right, so we're going to deselect the move footnote and change the footnote format to A, B, and C. So let's come down here, and we're going to go ahead and highlight these footers, and we're going to come up to our reference tab, and we're going to modify these footnote styles. Now to accomplish this task, all we have to do is come up into our footnotes grouping on the reference tab. We're going to select on one of the footnotes. Uh, you might even want to highlight all of them. Uh, I'm sorry, don't highlight all of them. Just click on any of them. And then we're going to do in the bottom right hand corner of the dialog box launcher. So let's go ahead and launch up the footnotes dialog box. And you can see here in the format grouping we have numbers of format 1, 2, 3. What they're wanting is A, B, C. So let's just switch this over. And I think they said specifically lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase c. And when we hit apply, we now have an A and B. And we've moved our footnote from the schedule your time to the track your time section. That's how you fix steps numbers 5 and 6 on Microsoft Word Project 3-5.